I'm here at the 1,000th game for the Queensland Rugby Union. A lot of history, a lot of pride in the Queensland jersey over many, many years. A lot of players have been invited back by the Queensland Rugby Union here tonight to celebrate. Let's go and have a chat and listen to some stories. Sammy, what's your favourite memory of playing in the maroon jersey? Oh, Timmy, I've got to be honest with you, this photograph right here, that's uh, Michael Iona, Peter Slattery, and obviously that day was a bad day for you and Jason with your knees. But that was a day in which Queensland dug in, 1994, Super 10 final. We were over in South Africa, backs to the wall. That really depicted the spirit of Queensland. And when Queensland was good, the Wallabies were good. Yep. Yeah, I played for Queensland the first year out of school. Supposedly, you were given your first jersey that you wore. Somebody knocked it off. We came back the next day to training, and the QRU gave me a bill for losing my jersey. <laughs> Who was your favourite player that you played alongside of in the Queensland jersey? Oh, you've got to look at Paul McLean and, uh, and Loney. You know, Loney and I had our battles. You know, I captain brothers and he captain uni, so we we found each other plenty of times on the you know his brothers playing uni. But uh, but as a as a as a player, but Paul and Loney together, I mean, two fabulous players. Who was the players, the couple of players that you played with that you loved playing playing alongside of? Mate, Jason Little's a special centre. Yes, <laughs> no one better than him. But I uh, oh, look, um, the guys like Dave Wilson in the forward pack was always really special. To have those guys up front, Crowley and uh, you know Dave Wilson and Eelsy and, and boys and. You know, having those guys around you, when, it, when you ever got in a tough spot, you just had to look beside you and look into their eyes and they were digging as hard as you and you knew you were right. There's been some amazing history that's been dug up from the Queensland Rugby Union over a over hundred years and none more so than their first game, 1882. The invitation was received from the Southern Rugby Union to go to New South Wales to play the first game. It took two days on a paddle steamer to get to Sydney. But I could, I, I would rather look at toilet bowl than play for New South Wales. Um, what, one of my greatest memories, Sammy, when we both went to training, you had a New South Wales jersey on when we were playing New South Wales that week. John Connolly took it off you and actually burned it in front of us. Do you remember that? Yeah, he firstly made me train with a tracksuit over the top of it in the stifling heat of Brisbane. And then, yes, it, it got ceremoniously burnt. <laughs> that was, you know, that, that was stupid for me to, you know, do that. But nonetheless, what it did show was the, the, the depth of, of passion for the Reds and, uh, and no other team. Yeah, Timmy there with Sam Scott Young. I know that uh, Tim absolutely loved doing that yarn for Kick and Chase. So good to see some of the, the Queensland greats. Tony Shaw was there. Alec Evans, fit and firing. Yeah, looking really well. I mean, Alec Evans is someone that's had a huge influence across a number of individual players within the uh, Australian setup. Helped out with the Queensland women's team. Michael Hayes is a really close friend of his. And, you know, great to see Alec and all those old, you know, legends there. Not old, but, you know, legends of the game of Australian and Queensland rugby parading around on Saturday night at Suncorp.